Hi, grandkids. I bet you all know the story of the three little pigs, right? You know, in The Big Bad Wolf. Well, the book that I'm going to read to you today is about those same characters. The story's just a little different. The title is Blow Your Nose, Big Bad Wolf. This story is about the Big Bad Wolf, of course, and tissues. Let's find out what happens. Blow Your Nose, Big Bad Wolf, written by Steve Smallman, illustrated by Bruno Mers. Once upon a time, there lived a mommy pig who had three little pigs. But little pigs don't stay little for long. It's time for you to build houses of your own, said Mommy Pig. Aw, Mom. What? Ah, chew! And please use a tissue, added Mommy Pig. You'll make us all sick. Mommy Pig gave the pigs some money and a box of tissues each and sent them on their way. The first little pig met a girl with a wagon full of straw. So he bought the straw, built himself a house, and went inside for a nice nap. The second little pig met a man with a wagon full of sticks. So she bought the sticks, built herself a house, and went inside to watch TV. The third little pig met a family with a wagon full of bricks. So he bought the bricks, built himself a house, and went inside for a snack. There was a wolf who lived nearby. His name was Big Bad, but he was really nice. Big Bad had a nasty cold with a horrible runny nose. What he needed was a tissue to blow his nose with. He was on his way to buy some when he saw a new straw house. He peeped through the window and saw a little pig with a big box of tissues. Big Bad knocked politely on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, squealed the pig. Oh, please, sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, a, a tissue. Big Bad sneezed a sneeze so big that it blew down the house of straw. Eek! squealed the little pig, and he ran next door. Big Bad followed him to the house of sticks. He knocked politely on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, squealed the two little pigs. Oh, please sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, 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 a tissue. And he sneezed a gigantic snotty sneeze. It was so gigantic that it blew down the house of sticks. Yuck, squealed the little pigs, and they ran next door. Big Bad followed them to the house of bricks. He knocked politely on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, squealed the three little pigs. Oh, don't be mean, sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, 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 a tissue. And he sneezed the biggest, snottiest, slimiest sneeze he had ever sneezed. 
but the house of bricks did not blow down. The three little pigs were delighted. They danced around singing, We've got tissues, you've got none. You're the sneezy snotty one. And that's when Big Bad got really mad. Then I'll come down the chimney and get a tissue myself, he roared. But as he started climbing up the drain pipe, the three little pigs put a cauldron of water on the fire. If Big Bad Snot-Faced Wolf comes down here, they chuckled, we'll boil his bottom. But Big Bad was so quick that when he came tumbling down the chimney, he landed in a cauldron of nice, warm water. With a big splash, the fire went out. Please don't gobble us up, squealed the three little pigs. I don't want to eat you, sniffled Big Bad. I just need a tissue. And before he could cover his mouth, he sneezed a big wet sneeze all over the three little pigs. Gross, they all cried. Achoo, 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 sneezed the three little pigs. If only they had given Big Bad a tissue, they wouldn't have caught his cold. The pigs passed around the tissues and made sure they passed some to the wolf. Big Bad settled down in his nice warm bath, blew his nose, and started to feel much better. Looks like Big Bad wanted to blow his nose. If they had just given him a tissue, that would have stopped or helped to stop spreading germs. Also need to throw it in the garbage and make sure you wash your hands. I love you guys. Don't spread those cold germs. Bye.